WHGH and NBC have long suffered a stormy marriage, leading to speculation that it was just a matter of time before NBC pulled its affiliation. Now that time has come, and it could turn the local TV market upside down. WHGH owner Ed Anson has insisted all along his station will remain Boston's NBC affiliate for years to come. But yesterday, NBC announced it's dropping HGH at the end of the year to launch its own local station called NBC Boston. Breaking news now, a, a bit of a roller coaster ride. It spells the end of Anson's long, contentious relationship with NBC. Number two, what was the best prank you've pulled off? When NBC pushed our ratings challenged Jay Leno show on local affiliates, Ed Anson led the revolt. Coming up next, Jay Walker, but here's what's happening on your late local news. Anson ultimately caved but the relationship never recovered. Then two years ago, NBC folded New England Cable News into its owned and operated stations division. Got your black and gold on? That set the stage for NBC to move its national programming, the Today Show, Nightly News, and even football from WHGH to its own channel. Wait for it to be based at NECN's newly revamped Newton studio. More news to come here on NECN. Anson says he'll sue to keep the affiliation, arguing that NBC's only local station, WNEU in New Hampshire, doesn't reach most Boston households. NBC is pledging it will, meaning more chess moves to come. I still think people are slightly confused about this, because while this NBC Boston is going to be based at NECN, they're going to have a separate operation, some of which will be broadcast. Regardless of where it's broadcast from, it will be on the air somewhere. But it will also be on the cable dial, because after all, Comcast owns, is part of NBC Universal, so they're not going to let the thing drift off into the, you know, 549 channels. It's going to be somewhere in the prime spectrum on the cable dial. But about 10% of the Boston market does not have cable. So there's 10% potentially could not get, you know, nightly NBC programming. So that is really where the rub is, and this is the basis of uh, Anson's challenge. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, this move would have been unimaginable five or ten years ago because it would have been a lot more than 10%. Obviously, NBC's made the calculation that they're not going to worry about that 10%. And that's too bad because those people are going to get yes. left behind. They're poor and rural, uh, absolutely. elderly. Absolutely. That's, that's really a shame. There is a good news aspect to this, though, and that is uh, as these maneuverings have been going on for months, you know, there's been some fear that NECN might disappear, but it looks like no. NBC's <laughs> local commitment yeah. to uh, news is going to be stronger than ever, and I think that's good news mm -hmm. for everybody. Yeah, this is, I mean, the, you could see this coming in for a long time, as a lot of people did. As far back as 2009, NBC was was considering competing with uh, with WHGH on the, on the digital level, starting its own website, NBCBoston.com. They were in those early plans. A and it's the largest uh, non-owned and operated station in the NBC uh, network, the only one in the top ten of uh, markets. So it's, it's understandable, but I think it's part of a larger reshaping of the relationship between networks and affiliates. Mm -hmm. It's kind mm -hmm. of, there's not a real reason for, uh, not as real of a reason to have a local affiliate be the entry point for your relationship if you're going to have digital distribution. And for the last few years, that's been about cable, but it's really shifting to over-the-top distribution on your Roku or your mm -hmm. Amazon Fire Stick or your Apple TV. Though, what, what NBC wants is for you to have a relationship with NBC, yeah. not with an individual exactly. station. And I think this is a preview of what we're going to see happening in a lot of markets on a lot of networks. In terms of certain parts of Boston not being able to get this mm -hmm. new station, you can use rabbit ears with a, a yeah. adapter to yeah. go ahead and get this. So I think actually, no, not if it's if it's coming out of that station and you won't. It's you, not. It's you, not in your. You won't be able. Out of reach. It won't even. But are you sure about that? In Absolutely some, positive. In, in, that's You're nodding. So Emily's right now. Yeah, I'm right, so. I'm right okay. about that. All right. So yeah. disregard everything yeah. I just said. But <laughs> now, but now, uh, let me hop to a point I'm, I'm comfortable, yeah. more comfortable making. Um, I'm not a huge local news watcher in part because I work in local news and I don't want to go home and watch it in the evenings. Mm -hmm. But of the, the three uh, you know, stations that are available, uh, HDH has always been sort of at the bottom of my list of stations I want to watch. And that doesn't include NECN, which is sort of my default choice, but I'm a, a cord cutter. Um, I think that aesthetically, for whatever reason, HDH has just never quite worked for me in the way that other stations do. And this will probably be a chance for NBC to refresh that, their local brand here, and I think that's going to be beneficial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a chance that this could all fall apart, too, because 
Ed Anson still holds the cards in, in the fact that he could sell. You know, he claims that he's been lowballed. You know, he's had a really sweetheart deal with NBC for a long time. It used to be that all the affiliates were paid to carry the programming. And that, that deal went away years ago. And when he switched over in 95, remember the switch between channels four and seven? Mm -hmm. He retained that deal at, mm. at, at channel seven. He still gets paid about $4 million a year to carry NBC programming. So you know that that's part of the source of rancor here with NBC. They don't want to be paying anybody. They want to own the station so they can just profit from their own programming. Well, I think that for me, the, the big news here is that the potential of an expanded news station um, and what kind of new station will they be? That'll be interesting to see because, as we know, Ed Anson has gone. The, I used to call them the nightclub ladies because they had those <laughs> chandelier earrings in the morning when he <laughs> yeah. took over. Um, and so, will that? What, you know, what kind of station will they want to do, want to present to the Boston market, which traditionally has been pretty serious? My habit, I do watch local news, is usually five and NACN mm -hmm. because I consider them the most local of local. I want, I want serious local news if I'm watching it. So I think also they're kind of behind, but I guess they're in front of in some places by making certain that they have the Latino market right there mm -hmm. yeah. as a piece of it, not over here to the side, but embedded, um, integrated, synthesized. We are all one station. Here's how we're going to report. That opens mm, up a lot true. in terms of perspective. We should make that clear, too, because yes. NBC Universal owns Telemundo, and the station that they're talking about, it's not certain, that they're going to put the programming on is also they split the transmitter and half of it is telemundo. That is a huge, huge deal, and I think that will send them to the top yeah. right away.